Whether or not you're a sleep apnea girly or whether or not you know someone that's used a breathing machine, you're gonna wanna listen up because the latest investigation between ProPublica and the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette on the FDA and Philips Gestrionics is seriously insane. For those who don't know, Philips Gestrionics is a company that makes hospital ventilators and CPAP machines for people with sleep apnea. In 2010, Philips started getting complaints about its breathing machines after redesigning them with this industrial foam to quite an annoying rattling sound the old models made. Spoiler alert, the foam is capable of sending toxic, cancer-causing material into users' lungs, and thousands have reported getting sick from it. As Philips is receiving these complaints, they kept them a secret for years as their stock prices soared, until finally recalling millions of devices in June 2021. So the recall happens. Philips' popular breathing machines are being pulled from the shelves. Lawsuits are mounting. Stock prices are plunging. And then, in the winter of that same year, Philips says the sleep apnea devices they had just recalled have undergone new safety tests. According to Philips, new tests on the popular Dream Station sleep apnea machines show the devices are not expected to result in long-term health consequences for patients. But a series of emails obtained by ProPublica and the Post-Gazette show the FDA actually rejected those safety claims and said it still considered the devices a significant health threat to its users. But instead of publicizing this assessment, the FDA kind of just kept it to itself. Check out this email from 2022. Someone from the FDA tells Philips that if the company makes their conclusions public, they have to report that the FDA does not support this data. And yet, aside from a small public reference in a 14-page letter to Philips sent in May 2022, there was no public statement from the FDA until October 2023, nearly two years after Philips started promoting their favorable test results. Meanwhile, just last month, the FDA said it received reports of 561 deaths associated with the machines since 2021. The FDA has defended how it's handled the matter, saying it has been clear about its concerns with the foam through public alerts and other comms. Philips has said the foam has caused no appreciable harm to patients and that the company would continue to carry out tests. And while continuing to defend the safety of these devices, Philips recently announced it would not sell any new sleep apnea machines in the U.S. Head to the link in bio to find out more about the dangerous defects in these breathing machines and the receipts we found between the FDA and Philips.